morning everybody, uh, welcome back to the Laddingford Diaries. Hopefully if you've seen the, uh, the part one, the introduction, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, as I said on previously on that film, I was having a few problems with the camera, so hopefully I've sorted those out now, I've changed a few of the settings, um, and I'm, I'm recording directly hard drive. I think the problem was the secure digital card, so uh, hopefully we'll have a trouble-free session. Right, I'm back down at Laddingford, it's Tuesday morning, the 5th of November, it's about half eight in the morning, a um, bit of a damp day, it's not cold, but it's like, a, I wouldn't say it's a drizzle, it's more like a mist, you know, just that very fine, fine rain, but it is due to ease off apparently, we're supposed to have a dry day. I'm down here overnight until probably, I don't know, four or five o'clock tomorrow afternoon. I've got my cousin Ronnie coming down, um, he's fished here a few times in the evenings for a few hours, never done an overnight session yet so um, it should be nice to spend the night with him um, what I'm going to do I'm going to get set up then I'll come back to you and I'll talk to you about the swim I'm in while I've chosen this swim and hopefully we'll have a few fish over the next couple of days uh, to have show you on film so have a good day everybody I'll speak to you in a minute Watcha, right back again sitting in my bivvy because uh, it's actually chucking it down out there at the minute um, when I spoke to you earlier, I said, you know, it's like a bit of misty rain. Um, well, about five minutes after that, it's chucked it down. It hasn't stopped. Um, as I say, it's about half eleven now. Um, saying that, it looks like it's easing off. So, anyway, I've managed to get set up. I've got my rods out. And if this rain is easing off, I'll, I'll go outside in a minute and I'll show you the swim I'm in, why I'm in the swim, where I'm fishing to, etc. Um, still waiting for Ronnie, he should be here any time, he said he'd be about half eleven, half twelve. Um, he has to come all the way from Rice Sip, so it's a bit of a slog for him around the M25 and I, I did hear there was a problem on the M25 this morning, but I think it was the other way, so it shouldn't really affect him. So, um, as I say, it uh, hasn't stopped raining, so I'm going to get my kettle on, make myself a nice cup of coffee. I haven't had a cup of coffee yet, I've just realised that, so I'm going to have a cup of coffee. Um, it's easing off out there, so hopefully I'll be able to go outside, show you the swim and talk a bit more about me fishing this weekend. So I'll be back with you shortly. Thank you. Watcha, right, back again. Um, it's now stopped raining, uh, I've had a cup of coffee. Um, so I'm going to show you the swim where I'm fishing and explain a bit about why I come here. Move me out a bit. Right, we'll come over to the beach swim, if I just show you the beach swim. This is a beach swim. Lots of water out in front of us. And you can see, I'm set up over there. I'm going to be fishing over to the left there. And if we just come back a bit, there's plenty of room here for Ronnie, for his bivy, etc. Um, so this is where we ended up. I mean, I did have it in mind this, before I got here this morning to fish this swim because uh, the, the reason being, I know it's going to rain, and this, when it does rain, this swim does tend to dry out fairly quickly, although it's a bit muddy here this morning. If we get any kind of breeze, which is just a little bit of a breeze getting up now, if the sun comes out, which if you have a look up there, I don't know if you can see it, but it is getting a bit brighter. The sun's hopefully be out. It will dry out fairly quickly, and um, you get a chance to dry your bivvy and stuff out here after it's been raining, so that's one of the reasons. The other reason, I wasn't expecting many people down here today, so uh, it sort of gives you a lot of water to fish here. For example, you know, if Ronnie comes in this swim, he's got the island out there in front of him. Fish over to those pads. Over there, you've got the bay. See if I can zoom in. I don't want to try to do too much zooming in and out because it didn't look very good last time, but he's got the bay over there. Now I've seen a few fish, that's like to the right of the point, or the left of the point I should say. Um, seen a few fish top out over there and bash out this morning so you can get a bait out there. Got the little island over there, the little set of pads I mean over there, by the pipe. The island, I've seen fish there this morning as well. So uh, there's lots of opportunities for Ronnie to fish in here. Got another little swim in the middle there. Which I know Ronnie is like, he's an all round fisherman. He likes to do a bit of um, quiver tipping, float bashing, etc. So he can stick his bivvy up here, get one rod out there, then perhaps sit in here and do a bit of quiver tipping, uh, try and get some of the big ropes and perhaps some tents or a perch, I don't know. Again, if he decides to fish in this swim, he's got lots of opportunities there. There's the island out in front of him, two sets of pads down there, um, 
problems like the margins over that side so you've got lots of water here now I'm set up here see my bivvy here's the old thunder bucket oh here's a little tip for you as you know I was down here sorry just turn this round I was down here Sunday when I'm Sunday afternoon um, and we tend to have an Indian on a Sunday night watch the X Factor etc so we had a nice Indian Sunday night and last night we decided to have a Caribbean curry, some, um, I had a curry goat, a Carolina curry goat. Well I've got to tell you, the old thunder bucket's seen a lot of action this morning already, so um, just a little tip, if you're coming fishing, just be careful what you eat the day before, or a couple of days before, because uh, I certainly hadn't eaten the right things, it's obviously um, affecting me this morning, but the old belly seems to be settling a bit now, so I'm okay. Anyway, I'll digress, I'll go back to my swim. So I'm fishing... <laughs> Hello, something's come up on here. I hope this is still working okay. Right, so there's my bivvy. It's a little sort of stalking swim here. And I'm fishing in this little swim here. I don't know if you can see it. Now, this is one of the swims that was sort of overgrown, was all overhanging trees. So it's still okay for stalking, but we sort of uh, we opened a lot of swims up this year. I opened up another five or six swims that had sort of been overgrown. This is one of them. And I, as soon as I opened it up, I really fancied this swim. and. Uh, I've been fishing it a lot, lot this year, in fact I've been fishing it so much that most of the regulars now call it Gary's Swim, so uh, I don't know if that name will stick or not. Anyway, the reason I like this swim, if you can just see out there, see if I can zoom in, it's probably not very clear, there's like loads of bit of scum on the top, well not scum, like bits of weeds and stuff. That's actually what's left of the pads, where the pads are dying down. In the summer, this whole corner, is full with like yellow, I suppose they're sort of ornamental pads, I don't know what they are. And they go right over there to the corner, if you can see in there. Just try and zoom in again. That's the big fish corner swim. And there's another little sort of stalking swim to the right there. This whole corner is full of these light pads. Now they're really light pads, so if you get a fish in them, they're very easy to get out. They, you know, the fish just pull straight out of them. So uh, I fish this a lot in the summer, done really well in here. Again, if no one's in the corner, you can get down to Big Fish Corner. And as I was saying last week, I tend to fish a lot of the far banks, you know, the far margins. So like, for example, I'd fish into the mouth of that swim. There's no one there. Um, we've got a bit of a tree down there. So I, I was able to fish into the mouth of that swim over there. But that bush over there, there's, well, I've had loads of fish off of that last year. Anyway, the last few weeks where these weeds have died down, the, the, sorry, the lilies, I keep saying weeds, actually lily pads, yellow lilies, where the lilies have died off, where all that stuff's floating on top, there's been loads of fish over here, and I've had a few fish off the top over here, and uh, every time you throw biscuits in there, the fish are about, uh, I've, I've tucked some biscuits out this morning and seen fish out there, and there's actually been two or three fish that have actually crashed out right in the middle there, so what I'm doing, I've just, my, my rods are here obviously, now if you can see them, um, I was saying before, I fish little light 10 foot rods, two and a half pound test curve, little, little um, feeder reels they are I suppose, just really light, because you're fishing for like 14, 15 pound fish, and it's a lot more fun on them than big heavy rods, I've got to tell you. Anyway, I literally, I've got one rod just out there, just, just to where you, you can see, where are we, I don't know if you can see, but where there's still some stuff on the top floating about the dead lilies and the other one just to the right here to the right of where the stuff's on top where the dead lilies are as i've seen fish there just a short underarm chuck um i've got half i've got on one rod uh, I, you know i make my own boilies now so i've got one of my uh, creamy tiger nut boilies on there and on the other rod i've got my toffee crunch which is basically made up of like four different nut meals, some tiger flour, vanilla meal, lots, lots of other little bits and pieces in it uh, with a toffee flavour. Um, my creamy tiger nut one, that's got like a maple flavour. Um, but both baits have been doing really well, just fishing single hook baits at the minute. Um, now the other thing I do, we spoke last week about the margins. If you look down here, very deep in the margins here. And we see Pete have a fish like three, four inches off the margins last week. So what I'll do tonight, I'll move these rods right the way back here, because there obviously won't be anyone about to come walking through or anything. And I'm going to literally, see if I can get into where it's going to go, stick one rod just down there, five, six inches off the bank. And I'm going to stick the other one 
just by this tree here on the corner here, again, five or six inches off the bait. I've been putting a few um, baits out there this morning, getting it ready for tonight. Now, let's turn this around, sorry. No, I won't, look at that. The sun's coming out, and as you can see, that gorgeous, that's seen dry everything out. Anyway, I've been, uh, got to try and find a bit of light now, right. I've been putting a few bait in the margins. Uh, I know the fish get in the margins here, we hear them crash out all the time. In fact, about three weeks ago, uh, a fish crashed out all the way along this margins, and it literally not come up and knocked my rods off the rest. So that, it shows you how close they get in there, in here in the evening, definitely. Um, this is a bit of a walk through where I am, so it's not really any I give for margin fishing during the day, although there's no one else here. But I'm going to fish out to them, um, the dead, dead lilies out there during the day. Um, I've also thrown a few baits, fired a few baits out over the far margin and I've seen a couple of fish crash out in one of the swims over there so I might later on just swap one rod over to there, I don't know, I'll see how it goes where I am now. Um, yeah, so that's basically the swim I'm fishing, how I'm fishing. Uh, Ronnie's still gonna, still, still no sign of Ronnie yet, he should be here shortly so once he gets set up I'll uh, we'll have a look at what Ronnie's doing, where he's fishing and then um, I'll come back to you soon. So. Hopefully the sun's coming out. I'm going to get my fong on, sit on my deck chair, see if I can get a bit of a suntan. See you later. Right, watcha, back again. Uh, it's about half three in the afternoon now. Um, still ain't had a fish yet, not a lot happening out here. There's been a few fish knocking about, showing about, out in my swim. Um, in fact, look, there's fish out there now. I've been firing a few biscuits out. I've seen maybe one, two fish come up. Not, not there. But yeah, the promising thing is where I've put a bit of bait in the margins, um, there's been a bit of fizzing going on down there, so I'm confident I can nick a fish off of the margins tonight, but we'll give it a see. But I'm going to persevere where my rods are now, out by the um, what's left of them uh, lily pads that I was showing you earlier. And I've seen a few lump out over the other side, right in the margins over there, so I've been putting a bit of bait out over there as well. So I'll probably stay where I am till this evening, so I put my rods in the margins, and perhaps tomorrow I'll have a go fishing over by the far margins. If we look up there, we can see Ronnie. Ronnie's arrived now. He's sorting his rods out. Where is he? There somewhere. There he is. He's sorting his rods out. Uh, he's got all his stuff up. So uh, he's going to be fishing over. To, be fishing over towards the Far Island. It's getting a bit overcast now. It's been really sunny here this afternoon. Been really that gorgeous. I mean, when I put my bivvy up, all my bivvy bag got wet, and my rod bags got um, rod sleeves, etc., got wet. Oh, hang on, I'm in a fish. Ron, grab hold of this. Oh, it's come off. That's choking, is it? That's it. <laughs> oh, I don't believe it. You see that? I had a run then, and uh, Ronnie ran around and grabbed hold of the camera for me, and the bloody thing's come off, so... Uh, yeah, I said I was confident where my rods were. Obviously, he's picked up my bait there, so I'm going to quickly get that rod out again and get a few uh, baits around it. So at least I've had a run, so that's looking promising. So I'll come back to you in a minute when I've got my rod sorted out. See you again soon. All right, watch her back again. Um, it's about 15 minutes after losing that fish there. Um, it was a bit of a strange run as well. I was, I was standing here talking to you and I looked down at my rods and I see the rod bend round to the left before the alarm started going off and then, then obviously you heard the alarm going. Um, so, yeah. I, I was sort of doubting myself in this corner. Not not so much because of the, um, the fish. I'm pretty certain I can have a fish here. But it's just a mud, if I can just show you. And as you can see, it's like a bloody swamp here. And I've got to say, it drives me mad, the mud. I've, I've, I've been down the, um, got a barrel load of chippings and put that down to try and dry it out a bit. But that's just soaked it all in, so I'll probably go and get another barrel in a minute and try So I'm sort of uh, beginning to regret coming in this corner, but now I've had a run, obviously, it uh, makes it obviously perfect I'm on the fish. In, in the last half hour, 45 minutes, there's been a lot of act fish activity over here. You know, I see fish swimming about just under the surface. I've been firing a few biscuits out, I've seen a couple of biscuits disappear. i um, not seen anything lump out, which is unusual, you can see them lump out around here. So, um, anyway, it's, it's getting a bit dark now, so I don't know much more filming to be able to get done tonight if anything happens. Um, I've literally just 
pulled, when, when I had that run, I put a new bait on and chucked it straight out in the same spot. Put four or five boilers around it. I leave that out there for a couple of hours and I'm going to bring my rods in, redo them again and put them in the margins for the night. So I'm going to fire up the old log burner in a minute. Chuck some potatoes in there. I think me and Ronnie are having baked potato with some uh, curry tonight. I don't know if that's a, a wise decision after this morning on the old thunder bucket most of the morning. But uh, yeah, I'll see what happens anyway. So if I don't see you anymore today, I will see you in the morning. If you're going to a fireworks party tonight, stay safe and I'll speak to you later. Take care. Yeah, we're on. Right. Morning, it's about half nine in the morning and uh, my left hand rod's just roared off. Uh, I've got to say, I don't, definitely don't feel like the biggest fish in here, but we'll see what we've got. Um, we've just had our breakfast this morning, just our bacon rolls, and I said to Ronnie, I'm going to leave my rods out for another hour before I sort of bait them up, get them ready for the day, because uh, there's been a few fish fizzing about underneath the, uh, the dead lilies over there. Right, so let's see what we've got on. Oh, another little common. As you can see, these little... Uh, um, Rod, you certainly get a bend on them. Now, this, this fish probably go crazy in a minute when we get them up to the margin. You just start diving down. Whee! Hey, boy. It's bigger than you think. Yeah, nice little common. Probably, I don't know, 10, 11 pounds. Have a look. Right. Is he going to behave himself and come in? So, when you get them to the margin, maybe a little bit. Whee! Here he goes. See the bend in the rod there, it's good fun with these little light rods. So this bait's been out all night, so uh, left it out this morning. I literally, about half an hour ago, threw four boilies in round it. And I've thrown four boilies in round the uh, me one in the margin as well. Okay, you never know, perhaps that'll roar off in a minute. A bend in that rod, eh? They're much more fun than fishing big heavy rods here. You don't need them here, you know, this 10 foot, 2 pound test curve, I can cast her anywhere I want to on the lake with it. They cast out a 2, 2.5 two ounce lead, no problem with a little bag on. That's what these fish do here, when you're fishing in close, because the, the margins are so deep, as soon as you get them into the margins, they just like go crazy. He's not ready yet, there you go again. I hope this one don't bloody come off like the one this time. Alright, oh, he's getting ready now. He's in the net! Yeah. Hey. Look at that, eh? Alright, so uh, we'll get, get the mat out and we'll sort him out. Get him back in the sea. Oh! That's in him there. I thought we, thought we lost him then. <laughs> Get him out and see what we got. Oh, yeah, he's probably about 10 pounds, I reckon. There you go, look, it's a single one of my tiger nut, creamy tiger nut boy, it is. Single whoop bait. We've got four or five boilies round it. He's a beauty. Look at that scale, perfect. Great big tail. I'll lift him up. Do you want to stand over there, Ron, so I can get him on? Oh, it's probably a bit heavier than 10 pound actually. Probably maybe 11, 12, I don't know. There he is, one angry little common carp. <laughs> nice fish for you. First thing in the morning. So it's about half nine in the morning, I think. So um, I'm glad I left my rods out for that extra bit of time. And obviously putting in three or four boilers around, it's paid off. So we'll stick him, we'll stick him back and then I'll come back to you shortly and tell you about what's been happening during the night. There she goes, back in, back to the deep. See you later, baby. Alright, watch ya, back again. Uh, it's now about 12 o'clock. Um, since I had that last fish that you see earlier this morning, which is about nine, half nine, I think, something like that, it, it's literally ain't stopped raining. So, um, we had our breakfast, a couple of bacon rolls, a cup of coffee, uh, and a 
coffee and a cigarette to celebrate the fish. So it's nice to get a fish on film for you. Uh, Gab Ronnie was here to film it, so that's good. Uh, right, last night what happened? Um, you see me uh, towards one of the last bits of film last night lose a fish. So I got my rod back out in the same spot again, put a new bait on it, put a few boilers around it, um, left the other rod out where it was. Then about half oh, five, six o'clock, Ronnie decided it was time to have our dinner, so he sent me up to the uh, container to get the, the log burner so we could do our baked potato. When I come back, Ronnie's standing there with me rod in his hand and a great big smile on my face. Um, when I lifted the net out, you could see why. A really nice common. I mean, he's still smirking now up there in his bivvy at me now. So, uh, yeah, really nice common. Got it out, weighed it, 20 pound on the nose. So, uh, good fish for Ronnie there. Unfortunately, it was too dark to film it. I mean, Ronnie just thinks I didn't film it because he had it, but uh, it was just too dark. We did try, so I'm going to look into that this week about see if I can get a video light so we can do a bit of filming when it's dark. But I did take some photos of it on the camera, so when I get home and upload this, hopefully I'll see if I can suss out how to put a photo of it on here. So you should uh, see Ronnie with the biggest smile in the world and his £20 common. Really nice fish again, beautiful colours. Just a big, big tail, big uh, pecs, big orange like fins on it. Gorgeous looking fish, like all the fish in here. Anyway, after that, I brought my rods in. Uh, I wanted to have my dinner. And as I was saying yesterday, I was going to fish the margins last night. But because I'd had a run and we'd had that fish off that spot, I put the, the rod back out on the same spot, the left hand rod. Same thing again, just a single boilie, uh, four or five boilies around it. Then my right hand rod, I put in the margins under that by the tree where I showed you yesterday. Um, but I had nothing at all during the night, no, no, no runs, nothing, no beeps. Ronnie ended up with a bream about 7 o'clock last night and I think about 1 o'clock this morning he had another common, uh, probably about £10, nice little common again. So, uh, and then you see that fish go off this morning off that spot. Um, bait had been out all night, put a few boilers around it and it obviously done the trick. Since then I've put that rod back out on the same spot, put a few boilers on it. I pulled the rod in that was in the right hand margin and it was snagged up on a big twig thing so I don't know if that uh, stopped me having a fish. Uh, there was fish in the margins last night bashing about. So at the moment I've got out over the far bank in the margins over the far bank where we've seen loads of fish. There's been loads of fish bashing about here all morning jumping out in front of us, uh, you know, loads and loads of activity down in this corner and in front of Ronnie so hope we've still got a couple of hours yet um, so we're hopeful of uh, some more fish. And as usual, you know me with my dog biscuits, we're firing out a few dog biscuits. There's just been one single fish coming in nicking the odd biscuit. So I'm going to keep at it. I'm going to try and get one off the top before we go home. Can't promise it. Oh, can't promise to get one off the bottom the way things are at the minute, the way my fishing is going. But at least we've had fish. I've had a fish this morning. So Ronnie had that £20 common, uh, which he's still smirking about. And um, he's had the bream and the little £10 one. So he's had a good night fishing down. So. I'll try and do another little update before we go home or if we have any action. So hopefully I'll see you soon. Take care. Recording for you. Yeah. Right, it's about, I don't know what the time is now, probably about one o'clock, half past one. And we've got another fish on my left hand rod off the same uh, bit where we had the other, where Ronnie had his 20 pound and I had that little fish this morning. Yeah, it's right in the margins. Right in the margins now, going down to the deep. Feels like a reasonable fish actually. Well, I don't know. It's hard to tell till they get in, but uh, yeah, I've been throwing a few biscuits out, trying to um, get one off the top. Oh yeah, looks like a nice fish. Yeah, it's just tight. Just going for these margins. They just head to the margins and go down to the deep water, look. Away from the other rod. You can see all the lilies in the uh, margins here where they've been floating in. Oh. It's a nice dark fish, whatever it is. I don't know if it's a common or a mirror yet. No, it's a common, I think. It's been a while since I've had a mirror. Actually, last mirror I had was a 20 pound mirror, so. Yeah, another nice common. Wait to it. As soon as I looked into it, it felt like a reasonable fish. That's 
feeling it, feeling it. So we want to hear that. Oh no, he's a mirror. <laughs> what it is? <laughs> Squirrel. Is a mirror, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow, that's a nice fish. Right. Hoo wee. Hee ha. A mirror, I was going to say, last mirror I had was about, it was uh, three, four weeks ago, I think. I had a 20 pound mirror and Dave had a 20 pound common the same night, so. Got some nice photos of the two of us with 20 pound. Again, I'll see if I can stick them on the uh, film when I get home. Right, let's get this one out and see what it, this one's worth away, I reckon. See what we got. Oh, that's a lump. That could well be a 20. No, uh, maybe not. 8, 17, 18. Came off the same spot as the uh, the other two fish. Yeah? We had the Ronnie had the twenty last night. Oh, I tell you what, it's got some weight to it actually. Now I know this thing weighs three ounces exactly. So whatever it comes to on the scale, we take three ounces off. We'll move out there. I'll turn it round to Ronnie. See if you can. Get it on the film run and tell me what it is. Ooh. 15 pounds dead. Um, 15, 15 dead on the scales. No, I mean, that's 14, 11. No, 14, 14 pounds, 13 ounces. Right, it feels a lot heavier than that. No, I mean, it feels a lump, I tell you. Right. Doesn't matter, don't have it four pound, it's a Ladenford mirror. Shall I come round that side, Ron? Yeah. Not many uh... Look at the colours of it. Is that one gorgeous fish or what? Almost a fully scale. Jesus Christ. It's an heavy fish. I'm gonna weigh that again because <laughs> no, I'll, I'll we'll stick to the 14 pounds, 13. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Lovely scale pattern, lovely colours. There's colours on its tail and its pecs. It's turning around, right? It's behaving nicely. Yeah, he's got his fins up there. Let's turn him around the other side because it's worth looking at. Oh. How about that for Ladinford mirror? Beautiful. Is that that's on what the... I say, the mirrors down even the small ones are like this, they're just gorgeous, gorgeous looking fish. See if I can get my put his fin up. Yeah, look at that. Good. Beautiful looking fish. Okay, we'll give him a kiss. See you later, baby. And we're sticking back in the water. Run. Off he 
goes. Hey, so a nice mirror to show you on film. So uh, I'm just going to stick the kettle on, have a cup of coffee and a bag to celebrate, and then I'll come back to you and talk about the fish. Lovely.